This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to get your imported strings patched into the new SDB string using Meta. So you've already edited and saved a, a, an SDB file in Meta, and you've got caches made. But now there's an update, and you want to import the new stuff into the old stuff into the new SDB. So how do you do that? First thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the Kate 60, back, uh, Bait 60. I'll redo that so you guys can see it. I already had it open here. So go into WW using Cake Tools. Scroll down to 60, which is where they have the new SDB files located. Double click and it'll open it up. And you're going to want to go into SDB down here. And now what I do, and other people could probably just overwrite their other old SDBs, but I don't until I'm sure I want to. Um, you double click the English one or whatever one you're changing and you extract it. I have a new SDB folder here that I put everything in so I can edit everything and make sure everything is proper before I overwrite the one I'm going to bake. So I'll go in here and drop and extract that into there. Okay. Once I extract that into there, I'm going to want to get the caches put into that new SDB string. Okay. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to open up SDB string database and I'm going to open up the one that I just did, the one that I just extracted, which is in the new SDB folder. Okay. So, at the bottom of this, you're going to note there's no changes. The last one on there is original championship 19. This is a fresh SDB. So how do you get your patch in there? How do you get your strings in there? What you want to do is you want to click patch SDB. And then you want to navigate to the folder where your meta is installed to. This is the actual meta folder. So for me, I have it somewhere completely different. You're going to have something different than me. Mine's in mod tools. There's my meta folder here. Go on in there. And then you're going to see a cache folder. So when you open up the cache folder, you're going to see files. I usually sort them by date modified. So this is every time you have changes into your string database, you're going to see something new here. I already passed 1.12. So my new ones from the 14th, those are from 1.12. I'm not going to touch those up here, these one up here. I'm going to deal with the one from the 6th and the second one from the 14th. This is my newest one up here. So, the one from the 6th and the 13th, those are my old changes from my original 1.11 SDB. So, I'm going to double-click the first one, and you're going to notice at the bottom, my strings are going to get added. See, patch string database, and now at the bottom, my strings are down here now. It ends with orange Cassidy. But, that's not all of my SDBs. That's not all of my strings, because every time you save and close your meta, after you use patch, after you use uh, edited strings, it creates a new cache, but it's not cumulative, which means that you won't see your first changes and your second changes together if you've added new things. So what you're going to want to do is, if you have another cache from the time before the update, you're going to want to patch that in as well. This should end with Abyss and Gail Kim and some other people there, but it doesn't because that's the first save that I made in there was all this stuff. So I'm going to click patch again if this applies to you. It may not. And I'm going to apply the one. It's not that one. That's a backup one. I'm going to apply this one. This is the last save that I made before 1.12. Okay. So I've opened that one and you'll see it added my abyss and everything too. So that's my current most up-to-date strings imported into 1.12. Now I'm going to click save SDB. And it saved it. Okay. Once I saved it, it says updated cache down here. See? Now your cache is now updated. The top one, the most the most recently modified one, will be for 1.12. That's the one you're going to be clicking on when you go and update from to 1.13 later on next month, whenever they do that. But everything should now be in here. Um, if you didn't overwrite your original SDB, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your where you, where you extracted the new SDBs from. You want to go into that, and you'll want to take the one you just updated, which is this one for me, and you want to put that, if you didn't put it in your original one already, you want to put that to where you're going to bake. That's where I would bake is right here. So you would overwrite that, close it all down, and then you're going to bake your files, and all of your changes should be in there. Um... There are some variations on this. There are certain ways that it can go wrong um, if you don't save proper. 
or if you try to go revert back from 1.12 to 1.11 for some reason, you just don't want to ever do that. You want to make sure you're just, you have to be careful when you do this so that you make sure it's done right. Um, but if you follow those steps on how to, how to do it, if you use meta all the time, for all of your changes going forward, every time you change, your latest cache in that folder will always be your latest changes, and they'll always be able to be imported into the next patch when you patch with Meta. All right, I hope that the Meta. I hope that wasn't confusing. I know I kind of ramble a little bit, but um, stuff like this usually requires detailed explanation. If you have any questions, send me a message in Discord, in the Meta Discord, or tag me, and uh, I'll answer it to the best of my ability. If anything can be modified in this video or explained better, let me know, and um, I'll update the video with anything in the future. Thanks, guys.